the Joe Rogan experience. <laughs> Have you guys been paying attention to OJ on Twitter? No. No, I man. What's he doing? It's one of the strangest things ever. He's just talking on Twitter. Just talk about like football and politics. And the, the comments are just the most ridiculous shit. Everything you would expect. I'm sure he mm -hmm. can't read them. The comments are just mm -hmm. filled with just murder jokes. Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. Wait, no, not his comments. You know, his comments, like under his, like his, his right, thing, his he says this thing, then under his, all, all the yeah. people that comment on his post, it's all just murder jokes. As long as he's not making murder jokes, I guess. No. My friend has the largest OJ Simpson t-shirt collection of like the free OJ juices loose <sighs> in the, in the world. And he had an exhibit here in LA a couple, a year ago at a museum, like 150 <sighs> shirts. Pretty, pretty amazing. But you know who I like to follow on Twitter, which I, I, we were talking about it earlier. I don't really look at Twitter that much, but I do like Jose Canseco a lot on do Twitter. Do you? Yeah. What does he talk about? It's just like <laughs> crazy. It's just extra crazy. And he, he was offering like a, for $2,000, you could go like spend the night in a, in a tent with him and like look for big fights. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. It started with him when he shot his finger off and then it fell off. You know, he was tweeting about that. that that's what piqued my interest. When I was 19 years old, I worked at a place called the Boston Athletic Club, and Jose Canseco and some other baseball players walked in. It's an amazing how big he was. Mm. He was huge, like a huge person. Huge. Like a just gigantic man. You know, it's so handsome. Looked like a pro professional wrestler. Looked like a fake person. Yeah. It really didn't even look like a real person. Just a giant, handsome, super athlete. Came in to lift <laughs> weights. I'm like, huh, how <laughs> fucking weird. Well, you know, like... <laughs> He's one. Of, he's one of only four people I think that has forty home runs and forty steals Jeez. in a season. I mean, he was on steroids. I think. Oh, he's looking for Bigfoot. He really is. He said, "I am a Bigfoot expert, and the most famous Bigfoot picture or video ever taken was a costume. The individual wearing the costume was none other than Andre the Giant. Check it out." I don't think that's true. I think that's pre Andre the Giant's career. In fact, that picture was from the '60s. That's well, the Patterson Gimlin footage. Well, Andre G well, I the mean, Giant was alive then. Are you saying Jose Canseco doesn't know what he's talking about? I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb. He's incorrect here. Have you seen what Andre the Giant could drink in an average oh, night? Oh, yeah. It's incredible. Yeah, we had Jake the Snake on. Jake the Snake used to drive okay. him, and he had amazing stories oh about driving Andre Jake around. Jake the Snake was your designated yeah. He would drink like 24, <laughs> literally 24 beers in like a half hour. Oh, could, well, the way his hands were so <laughs> enormous that the beer, they didn't even look real. They looked like <laughs> mini bar beers. You know, his hand just covers everything. He was so huge. But when I saw a guy like Jose Canseco, I'm like, well, there's no fairness in this world. There's no <laughs> fairness. How are me and that guy the same species? There's, there's no fairness in this world. Well, good. It's interesting. You learned early. Yeah, it's a good lesson to learn. Mm -hmm. It's a, a good lesson. Right. Yeah, it's like it the is. first time you really get dunked on pretty yes. hard. You need to know. <laughs> that can happen to you too, bitch. You know, so, I think it's important to kind of be reminded of like your position in society, in the world. I, when, yeah. I was, when I was a 10 or 11, I was listening to the – getting driven home from a little league game by my dad, who's one of the sweetest guys ever, right? And we're listening to the Indians game and uh, this new this new shortstop, who at the time was terrible, named Jay Bell, like, dropped the ball. And I was like, Dad, I bet you I'm a better shortstop than Jay Bell. And my dad stopped the car. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> like, Patrick, I love you so much, but you're 11 and there's no possible way that you're better. There's only like 50 professional shortstops and there's, and there's no way. <laughs> And then that's it. I just was like, oh, my God. But I realized at that moment, I was like, man, my, my dad's never going to bullshit me. That's kind of cool. That's very cool. Yeah. That's very cool. Yeah, you don't need to be bullshitted. He pulled that's the over. problem. With, that's the problem with a lot of kids today. Like they've been bullshitted their whole life. They're like, oh, yeah, you're the best. You're the best, son. You are better than him. <laughs> like, you uh, just need to go and take that job. Yeah. It's yours. Well, there's a lot of wacky people, too, that are living through their kids. You know, they're, they're like, oh. they, all their expectations of success have now been turned on their progeny. Oh, yeah. You know, they have this thing. They just want their kids to kick ass yeah. and go out there and fucking kick ass. <laughs> oh, my God. You know, it's like, yeah. ooh, slow down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's hard. <sighs> Fine line. Yeah. How do we get, a, oh, Jose Canseco's Twitter. It's crazy, huh? It's crazy. It's a wild dude. Wild man. I mean, it's cool that a guy that, I mean, his life story is incredible. If you you haven't had him on, I'm guessing that no. you should have him on. Oh my God, that would be great, Bash Brothers. Yeah, <laughs> have him Bash just tell Brothers. exclusively Bash Brothers stories. 
people are always going to be mad at him forever because of the steroids thing, mm-hmm. right? Because he told on those other guys that well, were his, doing it. his other Bash brother was found out, right? Mark McGuire. Mm-hmm. I don't know, man. I, I I don't know much about the the the. I mean, I know the difference between doping and the steroids or whatever. Mm-hmm. But I kind of feel like if you're, I don't know about steroids necessarily, but if you're if you're riding a bike across France and like. I don't know. I just feel like you should dope a little bit. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Someone needs to do it. Well, doctors have actually said it's probably physically safer to take the steroids if you're going to do something like Tour de France because <clears throat> it's so insanely grueling on your body that you want to be able to recover. Mm-hmm. But we have this weird thing. It's like there's a thing that makes your body work better, but you're not supposed to take it. If you take it, we get mad at you. But we want you to do good. We want you to do your best. But we don't want you to take this thing. You could drink yourself to death. Oh, yeah. We're never going to stop that. But we don't want you taking steroids because then you'd be too big and you hit too many balls. Like, do, what? What? How it's come you how come can't do whatever the fuck you want? everybody or nobody. Yeah. It's the cheating thing. The thing is it, it affects kids. That's where it gets dangerous is because you, if you find out, oh, my God, these guys just openly do steroids and they tell you what they do. Yeah, then middle schoolers will be doing it. Yes. They, they, that's the real. Do. That's the real fear. The real fear. It's a, and because the, that's that that would happen because yeah. there's middle schoolers that are professionally like competitive. Sure, all kids, over this country. Kids in high school do steroids. Yeah, I mean, like, you know? I mean, also you do you do a bunch. I know somebody did a bunch of steroids, and he was describing to me the process of that. He he literally was doing. It, he wanted a bit get big, you know. And uh, I was like, so what do you do? What do you do when you're big? He's like, yeah, well, you got to start taking these estrogen blockers and yikes all this stuff i was like what the fuck he's like yeah if you don't if you don't take your body stops making testosterone and i was like what the fuck i was like well that's i mean like this is probably a controversial statement but i was like well bruce jenner said that he like um like did steroids for breakfast i mean did that you think that like depleted his testosterone the um, production they don't i don't I, I don't think they believe that there's a connection between gender identity and testosterone levels i think they think it's a wiring issue for lack of a better term but there is always a thing that happens to people if you take steroids that your body has this inability to make its natural hormones and so you get depressed Mm. there's like a depression time and it could be really funky for a lot of athletes is that where like jose can say goes out there looking for bigfoot is it it because he just needs (laughs) to clear his head could be he also had some mma fights he might have got his brains knocked loose like he uh, he had one MMA fight against this fucking big giant dude. What was his name? Yeah, that was early early MMA. No, it was it was after his whole career thing had gone. Mm. He he got it. He had a fight with the was it Hong Man Choi? It was Hong Man Choi. Hong Man Choi is huge. Mm. So him just accept this fight is crazy. Let We're me talking see what about that a guy is. that's like yeah. Hong Man Choi is like literally seven feet tall. Oh, and Jose right, Canseco is right. Jose Canseco's an enormous guy. I recognize him from movies. I he's think. not enormous compared to Hong Man Choi. And Hong Man Jeez Choi Louise. was a professional MMA fighter. He fought some really, really tough guys in Japan. So it was a total, complete mismatch. But he needed the, he needed the cheddar, so he stepped in. You know what that looks like? Look at the like? size of Choi. Bro. That looks like when you have like a real GI Joe guy, and then like the generic GI yes. Joe guy. <laughs> it looks like he fucking found Bigfoot. And even though like Canseco is still a fucking gorilla, I mean he's a stout man, super powerful, gigantic man. But that just shows you how big Hong Man Choi is. Did he get? He got pummeled. He yeah, got pummeled. Oh, I think he blew his knee out. If I if I remember correctly, I think oh he threw God. a kick. And he blew his knee out, and then Hong Man Choi fought pounded Dan- him into oblivion. Danny Bonaduce too. Yeah, it was. It just. Oh no, did he really? I just he's, saw a picture of them standing together <laughs> in the oh ring. Oh my god, he's so much bigger than Danny Bonaduce. He's he's a really huge guy. Right there. Is that right there? Yeah. Oh my god, he did. Danny Bonaduce is crazy. Jesus. Well, um, his, well, his head looks like it's been photoshopped on. But wait a minute, wasn't that Kansaiko's brother? Wasn't that his brother posing he's as him? He's super tatted up. Oh, my God. No, no, he's not, though. I know he's like, this guy is, though. <laughs> posed yeah, but him. I mean, no, he's not even. It's one of those, that's one of those uh, oh, sh- shirts jacket, that you yeah. put on. It's like a rash guard, but it's got tattoos on it. 
and it looks like you're tattooed up. I wish our brothers would start posing as us. Yeah. I don't think that that was Canseco. I think it was Canseco's brother. I think it was like found the, out later. Is it like how Gallagher has yes. Gallagher's brother? <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about that Gallagher too. <laughs> Look at that guy. That's not Canseco. His name isn't mentioned in the article. Oh, it's like so. Danny Ayeo. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's still a big giant dude too. I mean, like the only way the story, similar. the only way the story could get published is with that resolution of photo, like eight, <laughs> eight, eight yeah. pixels. <laughs>